Hello, Assalamualaikum guys. Welcome to Pasum. Uh, today is our first lecture. I'm talking to myself in my office uh, without anyone listening. But never mind, it's a new norm and we'll get used to it, inshallah. Alright, before we begin, I would like to introduce myself. Nama I, Nuri Anida. Um, I was an ex-Pasum student taking uh, Hayat. Um, Tapi I didn't get four flats. So sebab tu lah tak dapat jadi doktor. <laughs> I end up taking mathematics, uh, majoring in statistics. Selain lecturing in PASUM, uh, I am also a researcher. My main interest is in medical statistics. Um, I have collaboration with uh, cranial surgeon, dentist and ophthalmologist. We do wonderful things uh, using uh, mathematics and we also use machine learning to assist the doctors uh, for their treatment. I also supervise my PhD and master students. So if you are interested in pursuing master's or PhD, tapi make sure you have this can do lah you punya asasi. <laughs> so you can uh, go to UM Expert and look on my research activities. Alright, I hope you have watched uh, the introductory video about this course, uh, FAD 1013 Mathematics 1. Main reference book is this one. Oh, I think uh, you would see it macam kebalik lah kan. So it's a comprehensive um, college mathematics. I've given you the link uh, in Spectrum so you can go there and purchase it. Alright, so now let's move to our lecture. Okay, basically there will be four lecturers teaching this course. I will teach you only for the first three weeks. Um, then Dr. Siti will take over. On my part, it is basically a revision on topics that you have learned in high school with a bit of extension. Okay, now let's move to our lecture slides where I have uploaded it in Spectrum. The first topic we are about to cover is the real number system. There are actually other types of number existed which you haven't learned in high school. The real number system consists of two major sets of number that is the rational number and irrational number. Natural number, whole number, integers that you have learned are actually the subset of rational number. Now let's look at the definition of rational and irrational number. The number can be expressed as the quotient of two integers with a Z10 denominator, then it is a rational number. If not, they are irrational number. I'll give you a few examples. Negative 72 for example, is a rational number because we can write it as two quotient, which is a negative 72 over 1, where 72 and 1 are integers. So, and then uh, we also have 1.3 with a bar over the 3. Okay, 1.3. With a bar over the three is a short form for one three 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 where three is repeating endlessly endlessly and forever. One point three bar is actually an irrational number because we can write it as four point over four over three. On the other hand, numbers like set two, set five, set eleven, pi number irrational as it could not be expressed as fraction and are called as the non-repeating and non-terminating number. A lazy way to identify rational or irrational number is by using your calculator but as a scientist we can convert any number given to us with using our brain and the concept of simultaneous equation. Now Let's try to convert 1.3 bar as fraction. The first step is to assign any variable, say x, as 1.333 and denote it as equation 1. 
Now, our aim is to eliminate the repeating digits. We can do that by multiplying equation 1 with 10 and get 10x equals 13.3333. So, so we name this equation as uh, equation 2. To get rid of the repeating digits, we subtract we subtract equation 1 uh, equation 2 from 1. And we will get 9x equals to we will get 9x equals to 12 right so x can be expressed as 12 over 9 or 4 over 3 now i have a question for you what if we multiply equation 1 with 100 we will get the same answer let, now let's do a few examples to classify the number as irrational or irrational number the first number is 5 okay so since 5 can be written as 5 over 1 a quotient of two integers so 5 is an rational 5 is rational number and then we have 9 over set 9 oh, whoa. So this can be written as 9 minus 3, okay? So it is actually 6, 6 over 1. So this is um, rational number, okay? okay if, so we let x equals 0 0.1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, okay? So we multiply um, by equation 1 with um i think it should be 1000 yeah so we would have 1000x equals 123.123123 endlessly okay so this is equation 2 minus equation 2 with 1 then we will get uh, then we will get 999x equals to 123 yeah so we have uh, get rid of the that's repeating decimal so x will be 123 over 999 Yep. x can be expressed as a quotient of two integers so this is a rational irra rational number and then uh, we also have 7 minus set 7 so basically set 7 are irrational okay so if you have 7 minus with with uh, any irrational number so you will still get irrational numbers so this is cuba and then uh we have five over zero okay so five over zero are basically we can this is in a form of quotient of two integers five and zero are integers right but actually five over zero is undefined babe Okay, so this is not rational or not irrational number. So this is an undefined number. Okay, and then oh, 0 0.123, this is basically 1, 2, 3 over 1,000. So this is a uh, rational number. Pi is actually repeating and non-terminating number. So, uh, pi is definitely a uh, irrational number. Twenty-two over seven is 
a rational number because 22 over 7 is just an approximation of pi. Okay, just now we have discussed about real numbers. So now, what numbers are not real? Binary or complex number like set of negative 1 are not real numbers. Also, infinity is not a real number. It's almost 10 minutes. I think we should stop here. Kan baru first lecture kan? Baru nak warm up. So, tak payahlah nak lecture lama-lama kan? Okay, before we end, uh, let's recap. Uh, real number system are made up from um, rational and irrational number. Number can be written as a quotient of two integers. We have also learned on two new terms. Um, of decimal numbers i.e. repeating and non-terminating number and the second one is non-repeating and non-terminating number so usually repeating and non-terminating numbers are rational number and non-repeating and non-terminating number are irrational number I have also prepared an interactive activity related to this topic in Spectrum under the tab activities. You may also try to answer a few questions in tutorial 1 that I have supplied. See you on our next lecture. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.